wind burn uh, almost looks like a phosphorus deficiency. If you remember in our last class, phosphorus is mobile in the plant, so any phosphorus deficiencies are always going to show up on the bottom of the plant because the top of the plant is going to suck phosphorus out of the lower leaves if it needs it in the soil. So this looks a lot like a phosphorus deficiency, so it's happened on, uh, it happened on this lower leaf. Uh, you get these blotches right here of, uh, of uh, dried dead tissue, or what we call necrotic, N-E-C-R-O-T-I-C, necrotic, which uh, means dead, basically, or dead or dying tissue right there. Um, this was caused by, um, this only happened to two leaves on this whole entire plant, and those two leaves happened to be right next to the, um, the circulation fan that blows the plants around a little bit, not the exhaust fan, but the actual circulation fan that generally on the floor of your grow room that just blows your plants around a little bit. Uh, this happened to be right next to the circulation fan, and this leaf happened to be blowing about like this 24 hours a day. So what happens is uh, the leaf will start getting damaged after hitting into other leaves and hitting into itself and moving back and forth so quickly uh, in, the, in the wind it will actually start to dry out. So we'll see, uh, it only happens on the leaves near the circulation. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, move the plant further away from the circulation fan to remedy that problem. Uh, if your circulation fan, even on low, and you need circulation fan, a couple of them, one or two, depending on how big the grow area is. If your circulation fan is, even on low, is blowing your plants too much and moving your plants too much, what I want you to do is I want you to turn that circulation fan and blow it into the walls of your grow tent. Even at the wall of your grow tent, it'll reflect off the wall of your grow tent and come back with about 30 to 50 percent intensity. Okay, so the wall of your grow tent will take up some of the force of the circulation. So you'll still have circulation, uh, but it just won't be quite so strong. Spider mites. So this is a big problem uh, everybody has in the grow room. First thing I want to tell you about spider mites is they don't come from nowhere. They don't crawl in your house from outside and crawl across your grow room floor and sneak through a hole in your grow tent and crawl up the side of your Home Depot buckets, crawl down and crawl across the soil, get on the stalk and crawl up on your plant. It just doesn't happen that way. These bugs come from you. You bring them in from outdoors or you bring them in uh, if you go to visit your buddy's cannabis garden inside his house or in his backyard and he has these bugs on them and you're actually standing over the plants where the plants are actually touching you or you're touching his plants and you get some of these bugs on your finger, 